Remember, safety first. Don't forget an adult and to get any safety equipment you may need for today's experiment. Hi, welcome to Pop Bang Fizz Stupendous Science. My name is Kirsten and I'm from the St. Charles Public Library. We're coming to you online until we can be together again at the library. Today we are making fizzing fireworks to celebrate the 4th of July. We need some paper. If you want to make your fireworks look like they're at the night sky, pick a darker color like blue or black and it doesn't matter what size paper you have. We also need some glue and some food coloring and vinegar and baking soda. You don't need this much. This is just the bag that I happen to have. We also need something to get our liquid vinegar onto our solid paper. So you need like a pipette or a dropper turkey baster. But if you don't have any of those, you could use a bowl and a spoon or even a spray bottle if you happen to have one of those at your house. For safety equipment today, you might want to put something over your clothes to protect yourself or you might want to wear gloves. If you don't want to wear gloves today and you get the experiment on your hands, make sure you don't touch your eyes and wash your hands before you go about doing anything else. All right, you also definitely need something to cover your workspace, like newspaper or a placemat. I will be using the lid off of a plastic container. So that works too, kind of works as a tray, but it's a little bit bigger, so that's why I'm using it. Okay, that's everything we need. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is draw a firework on our piece of paper. So grab your glue and draw a firework, or you can draw a firework with pencil first and then trace it with the glue, whatever works best for you. Okay, when you're happy with how your firework looks, it's time to add the baking soda. So grab your baking soda and we're going to sprinkle it over the glue. Okay, when your firework is covered in baking soda, it's time to shake the baking soda off a little bit. So we're gonna lift up our piece of paper, and just put some excess baking soda over here. So this is what my firework looks like. And now it's time to add the vinegar. So we're gonna take a second here and think about a hypothesis. A hypothesis is a guess on what we think will happen when we add vinegar to our baking soda firework. It doesn't have to be right or wrong, it's just a guess to keep us thinking. And after you make your hypothesis, you're gonna wanna get your vinegar. I put mine in a bowl already and I put food coloring in it and made it green. So I have a dropper here and I have a spoon so we can put the vinegar on there. Are you ready to see what will happen? Let's get fizzing. Look at, we're making our fizzing fireworks. So when we mix, the baking soda with the vinegar, we're creating a chemical reaction and making a new substance. We're making a gas and that's what's escaping out of the bubbles. Can you hear the bubbles popping? This is a pretty good experiment. You can keep experimenting by making things that are not fireworks. You can make anything you wanted with the glue or you could do different colors of fireworks. You could try without glue and just look at what baking soda and vinegar do when they mix together. But this was a lot of fun. We made a fizzing firework. 
Awesome. Happy 4th of July, everybody. If you liked this video, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel or check back weekly. We'll be posting more videos. If you want to learn more about science or learn more science experiments, check out our online resource, Science Flicks, on the library website. All you need is your card. Link in the description below. Bye!